today we're going to sculpt animals that live around saguaro cactuses. First, we're going to look at some of these animals and draw them. Then we're going to learn how to make salt dough. After that, we're going to sculpt the animals using our salt dough. Finally, we're going to paint our animals. Let's draw! This is a gilded flicker. It's a bird that loves to eat insects, like ants. It eats fruit and seeds as well. You can often see gilded flickers sitting on top of saguaro cactuses. Can you draw one? This is a gila woodpecker. It pecks holes into the cactus and then makes a nest inside. It loves to eat insects, fruits, seeds, and sometimes it even eats bird's eggs and lizards. Can you draw one? Isn't this Mexican long-nosed bat cute? It pollinates the cactus flowers by drinking the nectar and eating the pollen. Can you draw one? Here is an elf owl. It's one of the smallest owls. The elf owl makes a nest inside of the abandoned woodpecker holes. Do you remember the name of the woodpecker that makes the holes inside of the cactus? It's called a gila woodpecker. This is a pack rat. It's a nocturnal mammal, which means it wakes up at night. It makes its nest and covers it with bits of cactus and sticks. Can you draw one? Here's a black-tailed jackrabbit. It's a very big rabbit with very large ears. This rabbit will eat parts of the fleshy cactus if there's no water around. Because remember, cactuses store water for when there's a drought. Can you draw one? Let's sculpt animals. First, we'll make salt dough. Then, we'll sculpt. Here is a recipe on how to make salt dough. You can choose whether you want to make a small batch, a medium batch, or a large batch. I'm making a small batch. Follow along. If you want to make a medium-sized batch or a large batch, just substitute the amounts. First, get a bowl and pour half a cup of flour into it. Next, add a quarter cup of salt. You will need three tablespoons of water. Mix all of this up in the bowl using your hands. Once you have a nice ball of dough, you are ready to sculpt. I've set the table that I'm going to work on with my salt dough, some twigs, which I'm going to use for legs, a piece of twine, which I'm going to use as a tail, some scissors, and some pieces of paper. I also have a cup of water, because I've found that when you sculpt with salt dough, you have to keep it kind of moist. I'm starting by cutting the pieces of paper into a shape that resembles a bird's wing. Later, I will cut it in a more detailed way, but for now, I just want the general shape. I'm cutting some paper to make bird's wings with, and some of the paper is for bat's wings. Now I'm going to take a little piece of dough in my hand. I notice that the dough is a little bit dry and hard to use, so I'm going to dip one finger into the cup of water. Then, I'm going to use this finger to make the dough a little bit more wet. It'll make it easier to sculpt. But be careful, you don't want the dough to become too wet. Then it's really hard to use. Basically, if it's too dry, it's hard to use. And if it's too wet, it's hard to use. You want it to be just right. I'm starting by making a bird. I'm sculpting it to make the body and the tail the head and the beak. Then I'm going to use some twigs for legs. All you have to do is stick the legs into the dough. Now I'm taking pieces of paper that I had cut before, and I'm sticking them into the sides of the bird. 
These pieces of paper will become my wings. I'm making the elf owl. I'm using my fingers to pinch out the face and the beak. I'm gonna make my owl so that it's sitting inside of the cactus, but you could make yours flying if you wanted to. Now I'm going to make the pack rat. I've made my body and I need to stick on my legs. I've found that dipping your legs into water, not too much, but just enough, helps them stick on. I'm using a stick to make a hole on the back side of the pack rat. In this hole, I'm going to stick my piece of twine. I'm using a little bit of water just to make sure it's really sealed in there. Don't forget the ears on your pack rat. Next, I'm going to make my jackrabbit. I'm making sure that the dough is nice and moist by dipping my finger into the water. Don't forget! The jackrabbit has really big ears. My ears are so big that I don't really know how to dry them. They seem too heavy and they're flopping down. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to dry my jackrabbit upside down. Now I'm making my bat. The bat has a small body but big wings. So I'm going to roll out a small piece of dough and then I'm going to put some pieces of paper that I already cut. Later, I'm going to cut them to look more like bat wings. We have to let our salt dough sculptures dry. You can either put them out in the sun to dry or just let them air dry. It might take an entire day for them to dry. Don't worry. After your little animals are dry, it's time to paint them. Before I paint my creatures, I'm going to shape the wings of the bird and the bat. What I'm doing is I'm drawing the shape I want them to be with a marker. Then I'm going to cut them out. I'm also going to trim the pack rat's tail. It's time to paint them. I recommend you paint the background colors of your animals first. Then, once it's dry, you can go back and paint in the eyes and any little embellishments like fur or whiskers.
Once you're done with the first coat of paint, let it dry. It won't need too long to dry, maybe about 15 minutes. Next, you're gonna paint on embellishments. I painted some feathers onto my owl. I painted some fur onto my pack rat and jackrabbit. I painted some details onto the bat's wings. I painted eyes on all of my creatures. Now you're done with your cactus and your animals. Set them all up and have fun playing with them. And send us some pictures. We can't wait to see what you made. We'll, we'll be, be back, back soon, soon with some more videos and stories. Bye.